taken decision to go in for ordinance of anti-conversion law. Now we will not call it anti-conversion law, we will call it as protection of religious these things. Uh. And sir, uh, there will be sir, some amendment or what? No, no, no amendment. Without any amendment, uh, whatever was passed in the assembly will be made as ordinance. But Peter Macado, Archbishop, vehemently opposes the Anti-Conversion Bill, also known as Protection of Religious Freedom Bill, urges Tavarshan Gelod, Karnataka Governor, to refrain from giving accent to the same. The Archbishop says sufficient laws and court directives are in place and therefore introducing such laws would infringe the rights of the citizens, especially of minority communities. So today was a good opportunity for us to meet the governor and the governor was very welcoming. In fact, he gave us a time that was not very convenient for him just before lunch. 1.15 was our appointment and uh, the representatives from ours, bishops, the fathers and our people also, only six were allowed, six, seven were allowed. So we, in that limited number, we presented him and he was very cordial, he was very listen to us and uh, surely he has received this memorandum that we have given copy of which we will give it to you and uh, as far as i can understand governor is the highest authority in the state just as the president is the highest authority in the nation and we trust the governor to report our feelings and as far as possible to stop passing this bill this ordinance as such because we have mentioned here that it is not necessary. First of all, it is not necessary because we are peace-loving people and uh, to tell you honestly, for the last three or four months, there have not been any incidents of conversion reported at all. At the same time, there have been no uh, reports also of, I would say, serious attacks or serious uh, these things also. So I think that I, I take it for granted that the government perhaps might have sent a message to those who are trying to create trouble, not to trouble us. And that's a good thing from the government. We are very happy. But all of a sudden that this bill or rather this recommendation to the governor to pass the ordinance was little surprise for us. And as I've reported, it was little sad for us because it, uh, India is a democratic country, Karnataka has got the democratic traditions and the consultation among the people, among the leaders and the government is aware of the feeling of the people, the government is aware of the feeling of the legislators also of the different parties and in that context they could have perhaps even if they wanted to pass the bill could have waited for another two months I think another two months they are supposed to be filling up the, all the posts that are vacant and there might be a chance. So this was all of a sudden a little surprise for us. But the governor can surely hold it on and help us, support us. And that is what we ask from the government. It's a very unfortunate uh, that uh, this BJP government uh, has taken the ordinance route for the passing of anti-conversion uh, bill. First of all, it shows how uh, uh, sheepishly this government has behaved by not getting the bill into the assembly or the council and uh, only in extreme emergencies ordinances in place but you can't help it because right from the central government or the state government they have always taken the ordinance route and uh, what can you expect from a party who has uh, no faith in the constitution of India they will do everything to uh, subvert the constitution and also uh, trample the rights of the minorities anti-conversion bill is nothing but uh, is has been passed to harass the minorities of the country and the state.